<coughs> creating Minecraft bots in Yao script using Node.js. So first thing you want to do is download Node.js, install the recommended version, and then create a folder where you will have your bot in. So I'll just close this thing. Actually, let's uh, let's do something else. Mine, mine player docs documentation for mine player. We'll be using mine player API. Uh, it's well built, well developed API, and it's stable. Uh, doesn't support 1.13, 1.14, but you can contribute to that if you're willing to. We'll be using example right here, but let's first let's show how to do it. I will delete package.json uh, because you won't have it, so let's delete it. Uh, so npm init minus y will generate package.js file. Uh, it's a little object. Then I'll install npm i for install mine layer and that will be it for right now we'll be using we'll be adding discord support later on but let's for right now let's just keep it simple leave it to that what i'm going to do like literally what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this example right here i'm going to copy it i'm going to bring it down this is this will be a tester for discord but i just realized we, we will not be doing that Okay, so here I have index file. It's nothing in it. I just create a new file and I just make another one. Uh, yes. Okay, I cannot. Okay, this one. <coughs> I'll paste the example. Uh, so okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to separate a bit here. Uh, I'm just going to change this to constant because I prefer constants. And I have predefined config file and bot.json which contains my details for password and uh, username so I'm not going to be showing it in here but I'm going to use it as config so let's let's do a const acc as account equals require let's require the file uh, so basically what you want to do is in brackets and then the directory so it's bot.json and then uh, const config. Same thing here. Config .json. Okay, so we can start working. And yeah, pretty much for the how I'm using config. Use use always the variable config as the variable, and then whatever you want to take out of the file. So, for example, config dot um, Minecraft dot uh, server IP and if we take a look at the config file it's Minecraft variable and this variable contains actually object contains a few variables server IP port join command which we'll be looking in a second and let's just delete those events yes. um, server IP this one right here I'm, I'm just using account dot email and Account password uh, and for version of using 1.8. Uh, save that uh, and this should start. So let's just make a boot on a uh, red event. So this is whenever boot. Um, oh, it's never mind, it's not ready. It's login. So whenever it logs in into the server, this will this event will happen. Um, and I just want to console.log. Uh, tilde up source for variables. Uh, Both dot username. Save that. And ledgers. Index. Index the JS. Let's start it. Let's see if it's working. Logged in us. And there is the rock idiot. This is my old. And yeah, okay, let's go further in. Let's go further in. Let's go bottom right here. We also want to execute um, join command. So we're logging into the. We can do that. So. Um, con, config.minecraft.server. Craft.server IP. Save that. Let's just restart it. So you see how it's this pipe right here. This might be a bit small, so I'm just going to full screen mode. 
There we go. So, um, you can make a bit more spaces in here, so it's a bit nicer to display. Just by perforation, like the double backslash and then whatever goes on. So, um, the next next event, okay, those are events. It's always a bold dot on for events, server events. So, I'm just going to be using now the message. So, each message that means whatever is typed in the chat or displayed with console announcement, whatever it's in the chat will get locked. Um, so it's first is the message and then the um, variable you want to pass in. So async, because you want to use async for message. And we'll do uh, error function. And then let's start. So uh, first thing I li like to do is let chat. So I like to stringify it because it's an object. So let's just stringify it. Uh, or change it to string, object to string, and just getting all the objects from chat chat message, I think it's what they call the object, or yeah, chat message object, has variable text in it, and has multiple objects in it, so yeah, each word is, you throw an object inside an object, if it makes sense, and then let's just control not log um, chat. Okay, and what we want to do, we actually want to go to the server, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, bot.chat is method uh, using for chat and we'll just input right here just config.minecraft.joincmd uh, Let's just double check that so uh, to see if it's right it's in my head it joins cmd yeah okay this is safe now this should work so this will be a, we're a quick tutorial how to do that I'll go on with like multiple parts and Unexpected token. Mm, let's see what's wrong. Minecraft. Huh. It's not sure what this one is in the. That's strange. Let's try it again. Sometimes it's just just my player has some errors, I guess. Now you see now it's working and I didn't change anything. So sometimes just double run it always. And as you see, heroic command was executed. And we are getting sent to heroic and that's basically how you how you start doing that. So uh, thank you for watching. This will be the first tutorial on it and that's it. So see you in the next one.